Hey guys, what's up? It's Jax the Legend, and today I'm a little Minecraft Redstone tutorial. But if you have been watching my Alphacraft series, you may see this being area a bit familiar. It's because I am at my station. Oh, and hello, wild one. I am at the Wooded Hollow Station. Because in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to build this awesome rail organizer. So let's go show it off. Now that I am at the start of the rail organizer, I can show you guys how this works. So, if I open to my minecart and continue along the system, the tripwires will detect that I'm a human and send me to the station. However, if I grab this minecart quickly, it takes a long time to break a minecart, and head back to the start, send it along without me, it will detect that it's not a human or a chest, so it will send it to the maintenance depot and where I can pick it up later and return it to whoever it is. And it will do exactly the same if it detects that it's an empty chest. Just collect this, and there we have it. And I can just build back up. But if someone wanted to give me a gift, I don't want it going here where it can be taken. So I've created a system for that. So if I place it on the rail, and say I wanted to gift Jax another diamond hoe, even though he has one, already has two, I can put it through and it will detect that it's a chest and not a human and send it to the freight area. Which then I can pick up via the chest here, if I can actually get in here, and I can send it back by pressing this button. But I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to try and send it back and run, okay. Send it back, run, 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 I'm not, I'm going to miss it, I'm going to have to walk all the way down here now. Okay then. So yeah. This tunnel will eventually lead to spawn, which will be pretty cool in Alphacraft. If you would like to stay updated with the Alphacraft videos, make sure to check out my latest one. Okay, I have my minecart and chest now, so let's go get into the tutorial. Before we get into the build tutorial, let me clarify a few things about rails, because they can be a bit confusing with all the different types. First of all, we're going to have a look at the basic rail and how it can change its corner just by having a redstone input next to it. So if I want to go this way, I just keep the redstone lever off. If I want to go the other way, I turn it on. Simple as that. This allows you to create a very quick and simple junction. The next rail we're going to be looking at is a detector rail. This rail is super useful because when a minecart goes over it, it can create a redstone signal which can power redstone lamps, redstone like redstone dust, and many other things including a powered rail like this so it can give you a little boost from one side but on the other side it just slows you down but the main use for this which well the main use for me is that it detects whether something is in your minecart so if there's something in this minecart in hopper it will put a pulse through but if there's not it won't which is very useful for creating depots in like in this video but if you place just a redstone comparator on the block that the detector rail is on, it will detect a current no matter what. No matter if there's someone in it or someone not in it. When a rail goes over it, it will detect something. So that's why you place it next to it. Like that. So it doesn't detect redstone. But now it does. So that is very useful. The next one is the activator rail. See, this one is very special because when you're in a minecart and go over it, it kicks you out. And also, when a minecart and hopper goes over it, it becomes locked until it goes over another one that's deactivated. So if I stop it right here, the minecart and hopper won't pick up any items. So I just throw a bunch in, think, oh, it's all going to the hopper. Well, they aren't, it's locked. But if it goes over another one, like this, it will be unlocked and you can put items in there. So you could use that for many things, but the funnest use for it is it activates TNT! Beep 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 beep! Or a bit early, but... And minecart and TNT doesn't destroy the rails, well. Wow. Learn something new every day.
but the, the most useful rail of all is the powered rail. Although it is expensive, it is so useful to get you from point A to B in speed. You usually have to place one of these every 8 to 7 blocks going straight, but up a hill it can be more. So now you know the basics about rails, let's hop into the tutorial. Now that I'm in my super flat redstone biome, you can see the bare bones of this railway organiser. Before, you, before we get into the tutorial, I suggest that you build this railway organiser first before you build your station. If it helps, you can always map out your station using another block. So this might be my station, and that means I can just build around it. I've done that over here. This is how I created it on my AlphaCraft server. As you can see, I have actually covered up the redstoning underneath the tripwire by placing a mountain there. It can look really cool and make it look like you're going through a valley if you do this. But that's enough with this, let's go redstone! So, time to map out your, your station. I've mapped out mine with stone blocks, but you can use any block of your choice. Now you've mapped out your railway station, come two blocks out from the long edge of it, or an edge, and place a bunch of rails until it hits the very end, and then come two more rails out. Then curve it along, like so, until one more rail out. So that's what you should have. Then, coming back towards the direction this original rail is, place a few more rails. But make sure it doesn't connect with this, so there should just be an empty block here. Then at the very last rail, place a powered rail, a block of sandstone, or any block actually, and a button. And when you press this button, this rail should be powered. Now, heading in the same direction this is in, come one block out, like so, and then place a few more rails, and then dig out a too deep hole that is too long, like that, and place two more rails at the bottom. So once you place a rail here, it should, these two should connect. The one going into the hole, and the one leading to this powered rail at the end. And this one should, be, should stay straight. Now to create the freight line, come to this curved, the first curved rail here, and place a few more blocks out. Then on the last block, place a hopper going into a block, and break that block and make it a chest. Let me just grab one out of my inventory. Then place a powered rail onto that block, onto that hopper. And place a sandstone or any block next to it, and the, then a button. So again, when you press this button, this uh, powered rail should be powered. Time to place some more powered rails in. The first crucial powered rail we're going to have to add is by this two down hole. On the very last block, place one and power it with a, either a lever or a redstone torch under it. Ooh, not like that like this. Then ar around that hole, like, make a barrier except on the block with the rail. This can be one block high, but if you want you can make it two blocks. Then create either a ladder or staircase down three blocks and then break the block towards the rail. So you should have an opening like this. We'll just have a staircase for now. So you can come down and collect your minecarts. Then the second one we're going to have to add is here to boost us through the system. Then you can add any ones along the way so you, your minecart does not stop. Once you have done that, come close to this curve, maybe three blocks back, and break a two uh, long hole. Like that. Make sure it's one deep. Then on the first one, place a detector rail, and then on the second block, place a regular rail. So you should have a little dip like this. For now, we have to place one more detector rail here by this curve. So this curve, so when a rail, when a minecart goes on here, here's a way to test that it works, that rail should curve back to here. So now, we can start redstoning. To start our redstoning, come one block to the side of our redstone detector rail and dig out a four long hole. Then on the block next to the redstone detector rail, place a redstone comparator so the larger bit is coming out of the redstone detector rail. Then place a redstone repeater and two pieces of redstone dust. And one block diagonally down from that last piece of redstone dust you placed, dig out a 2x5 hole. So the 5 long side is going, to going towards this corner. 
Then place two pieces of redstone dust, like so. Two redstone comparators facing the same way on one side, and two redstone comparators facing the same way on the other. But they will be, but the two sides will be facing opposite ways. So it should look like this. Then on the opposite side to where you've placed your two pieces of redstone dust, place two more. And then one more piece with coming that com goes into a redstone repeater. Then make that repeater go into a block which has a redstone torch on it, which then goes into redstone, which goes into a block, which then under this corner piece will have a redstone torch on, which should get powered off. So, again, this redstone repeater goes into this block which has a redstone torch on, which powers this, bl this block here, which then powers off this redstone torch, which is going to be under the rail which has a curve on it. So it should be like that. So that means when you go when a minecart in chess goes over this, which has an item in it, it shall work. And it should go straight to your freight area. Time to move on to the detecting people system. For the next part of the system, you are going to need two tripwire hooks and a few pieces of string. Once you have collected those materials, come a few blocks back from your minecart detector system, the one we just built, and come two blocks out, and on one side there should be your train station wall, so this is my train station wall, and on the other there should just be nothing, so place two blocks there. You can make this a mountain afterwards if you would like. Then, on the, on the high block, place two tripwires, and then connect them using string in the middle. So the tripwires should change their position from up high to down lower. And when you walk through them, they should go even lower. So there's two different ways you could do this. You could either use the redstone current here, so you go around that or over there. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be going under the station. So to do this, place a redstone, piece of redstone underneath this true wire block. So when you walk on it, the piece of redstone should get powered and place a repeater coming out of the block the redstone's on. And then continue this down until you're underneath these rails, so you're underneath this first block. So you should have something like this. Now that you've done that, dig out a 5 by 2 area so the 5 long side is going towards this rail here. Make sure that's too deep. Then bring that redstone line down on the first two blocks and create a redstone pulse extension system by using some comparators and placing them like so. Oh, I made my one too short. And then place two more pieces of redstone dust at the end. So these comparators are all facing this way, and these comparators are all facing that way. For now, when I go on this redstone tripwire, it should just continue like that. Once you have done that, dig towards this end rail, and then stop right where it hits the rail and dig underneath it, like so. So there should be one block here. And then, place a redstone repeater here, and bring redstone dust to the very last block. You don't have to do exactly this, but you need to make sure this redstone doesn't go through this redstone activator rail, uh, detector rail here, because it sends out a pulse which could stuff up our whole redstone, or goes next to any levers that we've dug under the ground. So this is a pretty safe place. Now come to that last piece of redstone and dig four more blocks. One, two, three, four. And then curve it around like this so it hits this end rail here. Then place redstone dust right up to this corner and then place a redstone repeater on this turn here going into a block which is going to have a redstone torch on it. Which is going to have some redstone going into this block here. This block here underneath this rail here, which will have a redstone torch on it. And that means this rail shouldn't change at all, but when we move and we uh, take away that redstone, it should. So 
For now, if we hop on our minecart and head for a journey, it should detect that we are a person. Like that. Now, if you're having problems with it not turning on, well, it turning off right before you hit it, add some more comparators to this pulse extension system. So instead of having it like that, have it like this. So you have more comparators. So instead of having a 2x3 area of comparators, have a 4x2 area of comparators. Because the more comparators you have means the longer the pulse will stay there. So, now you have a system that will detect if it's an empty minecart, a person, or freight, and send it to the right department. So now let's go back to Wooded Hollow Station, and you can see how the redstone is completely hidden. Okay, so now I'm back on the Alphacraft server, so I can show you how I have hidden the redstoning. And yes, I did encounter a skeleton while trying to get here. <laughs> so if we head to the start of the system, you'll be able to see the tripwire hooks. There's no way to cover those up, I don't think. But under this tripwire hook here, we have a big hollow area where the redstone is. So like I said, you can cover it up with a mountain. Sadly, this comparator here cannot be hidden, but if you place a few blocks on top of it, it is pretty unseeable. Then the rest is just behind the walls. I've even added a little tunnel for fun. And I've also made it so I've got a little booth here with, named the Maintenance Depot. And at the end, to make it look like one of those little end things at a railway station, I've used some stone some cobblestone blocks, some fences, and a wood log. And I've also said, put a welcome sign. Welcome to Wooded Hollows. So now that you see me cover up the redstoning, I'm going to wrap up the video there. And if you would like to check out my latest Alphacraft video, make sure to check the top right corner of the screen or the end cards at the end of the video. So that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and remember to subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys later. Peace. And remember, stay carbonated.